In Twilight Struggle terms, Ortega elected in Nicaragua is an event of consequence in an inconsequential non-battleground country, but this card can, surprisingly, lose one player the game. We'll take a look at it here now on Legendary Tactics. Ortega elected in Nicaragua is a card that is generally pretty innocuous, although it can have one potential game-winning effect that most players wouldn't think of. Generally speaking, it is easily managed by both players, but let's take a closer look. First of all, the event. Ortega elected in Nicaragua is a Soviet 2-op starred late war event card. Triggering the effect removes all US influence from Nicaragua, and then the USSR may make one free coup attempt with this card's operations value in a country adjacent to Nicaragua. For the Soviets, even if the US has a lot of influence in Nicaragua, there's not a huge benefit to this card. The countries that you can choose from for the free coup are Costa Rica, Honduras, and Cuba. Costa Rica is very tough to coup with two ops because of the high stability. Honduras is also relatively stable, which makes it a bit unattractive that way. And most games Cuba has been uncontested and under your control since you played the Fidel card in the early war. Ortega elected in Nicaragua has marginal use in protecting Cuba from a sneaky realignment attempt from the American player by wiping out the influence in Nicaragua or in potentially shifting the balance of domination if the non-battlegrounds are especially hotly contested in Central America. If you want to decrease DEFCON during the headline phase, you could conceivably use this event to coup Cuba if there is American influence there. But almost every time you will want to take the operations points provided by the card, meager though they may be. For the US player, this event is generally fine to play, with one very notable exception. If you have any influence in Cuba, this card becomes a sneaky DEFCON suicide card at DEFCON 2, as playing the event will result in the Soviets conducting a coup in Cuba, thereby winning the game. This is because, even though the coup that lowered the DEFCON to 1 was done by the Soviet player, it happened on your turn, resulting in a loss for you. Don't forget that as the phasing player. But if you don't have influence in Cuba, as is the case most times, you can safely play this event. Any coup attempt against Costa Rica will be pretty weak, and even if you control Honduras, it has a reasonable chance of holding out. Timing-wise, if you have influence in Nicaragua for the purpose of realigning Soviet influence out of Cuba, you can obviously wait until after your realignment attempt before you play this card and trigger the event. So in summary, for the Soviet player, you are most likely to take this for the operations points, unless Central America hangs in the balance and domination depends on control of some non-battlegrounds like Nicaragua and or Honduras, in which case, this can potentially help you to swing things your way. For the US, make sure that you never play this card at DEF CON 2 if you have influence in Cuba, as it will cost you the game. Otherwise, it's not an event that is worth worrying about, as it will have little to no effect in most games. This has been our analysis of the Ortega elected in Nicaragua card in Twilight Struggle. We hope you got some value from this video, and if you did, Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.